So think of yourself being on a safari. And then what do you see? You see a giraffe. Beautiful animal. Slender, long neck. And it's munching and chomping on some leaves. You are in the safari. You're looking and admiring this beautiful animal. And you're thinking to yourself, Wow, how carefree this animal looks. Doesn't have a worry in this world. And in all reality, it is the truth. Because animals, they live in immediate response environments. Let me explain. The giraffe, whenever it's hungry, it feels hungry, it goes by a tree and it starts chomping on the leaves, hunger goes away. When it hears a storm rumbling, it hears thunder, it witnesses lightning, it thinks it's going to rain, I need to find shelter, it goes, finds shelter, it's relieved. When it spots a predator, an animal that's looking to hunt it, it immediately, the flight or fight signals, you know, fire in its brain, it runs for safety and once it's safe, it's safe, alhamdulillah. So immediate response environments. But we human beings, we live in delayed response environments. Today you're studying, you're not going to see the results immediately. You need to get your degree and you still don't know once you get your degree as to whether you would get a job. And even if you get a job, you don't know as to whether you'll be happy doing that particular job. And you don't know as to whether you'll be paid well. You don't know how life will turn out to be. You don't know as to whether you'll buy yourself a house. You don't know as to whether you can afford the vehicle that you're running in right now. You don't know as to whether your business will run smoothly in this particular government or the next particular government. Delayed response. And therefore, the stress factors are chronic. They're not short term. For the giraffe, it's short term. You see, anxiety is a natural response. Anxiety is a natural response. Just like depression is a natural thing, you know. If you read about depression, when you're going through certain worries, depression kicks in to numb your feelings. For, and it's supposed to be short term. The minute it becomes long term, then that's when it becomes chronic depression. When you start feeling like you can't feel anything. You don't feel happiness, you don't feel sadness, you're like a zombie. Then it becomes problematic. Likewise, anxiety, look at the example of a deer. The deer in the jungle, it sees a lion, anxiety kicks in and you see the deer bolting and running away. It's startled and it runs away. You might have seen it in BBC documentaries and whatnot. But once the deer moves out of the, the radius, the perimeter, where the lion is going to attack, what do you notice the deer doing after that? Do you see the deer all stressed up and sitting in a corner, heart beating away, dub, 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 dub. Lion is gonna eat me, lion is gonna eat me, lion is gonna eat me. No, the deer goes to a corner and starts to graze like normal and it goes on with its life. It doesn't have, you know, chronic anxiety where it's constantly on pins and needles. The next time it spots another predator, again it runs. It goes to a safe haven. It goes back to its calm state. And this is how we're supposed to be. But beyond that, we are constantly filled with anxious thoughts. Constantly. We're always on pins and needles.